Ever wondered why the flu can make you feel so miserable? Stay tuned as we uncover how this common virus attacks your body. Before we jump in, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment below. Your engagement helps us bring more content like this to you. In today's video, we're going to explore the mechanisms behind the flu, also known as influenza. We'll look at what happens once the virus enters your body and how your body's response contributes to the symptoms you experience. This isn't just about a runny nose and a fever. It's about understanding a battle that occurs on a microscopic level. We'll also discuss how the flu differs from other respiratory illnesses, particularly the common cold. Knowing these differences can help you better manage your health during flu season. Plus, we'll touch on why the flu can be severe and even dangerous for some people. Finally, we'll talk about how the flu virus evolves and why it's so challenging to fight. Each year, the virus changes, making last year's defences less effective. This continuous change is one of the many reasons why flu vaccines are updated annually. Now, let's get into the details of how the flu actually makes you sick. When you inhale flu viruses, they enter your nose, throat and lungs. There, they latch onto healthy cells and hijack them to create more viruses. This process damages and kills the cells, which triggers your immune system to fight back. Your immune system responds by sending white blood cells, antibodies, and other fighters to eliminate the virus. This battle results in inflammation and swelling in your respiratory tract, which you experience as congestion, coughing, and sore throat. The immune response also causes your body to increase its temperature to make it harder for the virus to survive. That's why you get a fever. A fever can make you feel warm, flushed, sweaty and shivery. As the flu virus spreads in your body, more cells become affected. The widespread cell damage and the immune system's aggressive response to it can lead to body aches, headaches and extreme tiredness. These are not just random symptoms. They're signs of your body fighting the infection. Fatigue is particularly severe with the flu because fighting off an infection requires a lot of your body's energy. It diverts resources from normal activities to battle the virus, leaving you feeling exhausted. Additionally, the flu can weaken your body's defences, making you more susceptible to other infections like pneumonia. This is especially dangerous for the elderly young children and those with pre-existing health conditions. It's important to note that not everyone will experience severe symptoms. Some might have a mild reaction, while others could face life-threatening complications. This variability is partly due to differences in individual immune systems and overall health. Vaccination is a key strategy in preventing the flu. The vaccine prepares your immune system by exposing it to a deactivated form of the virus. This doesn't cause illness, but it allows your body to build up defences that can quickly respond if you're exposed to the actual virus. Hydration and rest are crucial when you have the flu. Drinking plenty of fluids helps thin mucus, making it easier to cough up and clear out of your body. Rest helps your immune system function at its best. Antiviral medications can also play a role in treatment, especially if taken soon after symptoms appear. These drugs can lessen the severity of your symptoms and shorten the duration of your illness. They work by stopping the flu virus from multiplying inside your body. Remember, the flu is highly contagious. It spreads through tiny droplets when people with the flu cough, sneeze or even talk. You can catch the virus from someone before they even know they're sick, as well as while they are symptomatic. In conclusion, the flu makes you sick by invading your cells, multiplying and triggering a strong immune response. This leads to the wide range of symptoms associated with the flu. 
Understanding these processes is key to managing and preventing the illness effectively. Stay healthy and informed and make sure to get your annual flu vaccine. In this part of the video, we'll explore the steps you can take to deal with the flu effectively. These tips will help you manage your symptoms and prevent the spread of the virus. First, it's crucial to recognize flu symptoms early. The sooner you detect the flu, the sooner you can start taking care of yourself and avoid spreading it to others. Symptoms often include fever, cough, sore throat, body aches and fatigue. Once you suspect you have the flu, consult a healthcare professional. They can offer a diagnosis and might prescribe antiviral medications. These medications are most effective when started within the first 48 hours of symptom onset. Staying hydrated is vital when fighting the flu. Fluids help maintain the function of every system in your body, including your immune system. Water, soup broths and decaffeinated teas are good choices. Rest is your best friend during a flu infection. Your body needs energy to fight the flu virus and resting provides this energy. Avoid overexertion. Let your body focus on healing. Practicing good hygiene can prevent the spread of the flu. Regularly wash your hands with soap and water, cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing and avoid close contact with others. These simple actions can protect those around you. If you're at high risk for flu complications such as the elderly, young children or those with chronic health conditions, get the flu vaccine each year. Vaccination is one of the most effective ways to reduce flu-related complications. Keep your living area clean if you or someone at home has the flu. Disinfect frequently touch surfaces like doorknobs, remote controls and mobile phones. This can help reduce the risk of the virus spreading. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you're finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment, as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to how the flu can make you sick. In Manchester, a middle school teacher named Sarah noticed the onset of flu symptoms among several of her students during the winter term. Recognising the signs early, she encouraged parents to keep their children at home if they showed any symptoms. Sarah also arranged for online classes to ensure the continuity of education while minimising the risk of spreading the virus. Sarah's proactive measures extended to the classroom where she implemented strict hygiene protocols. She ensured that all surfaces were regularly clean and that hand sanitizers were available throughout the school. Her efforts helped to contain the outbreak and her students were able to resume their normal classes with minimal disruption, demonstrating how early recognition and preventive measures can significantly manage flu outbreaks. To further protect yourself and others from the flu, it's essential to follow some practical steps. First, if you haven't already, consider getting vaccinated against the flu. The vaccine is prepared each year to combat the most common strains expected, and while it's not a guarantee against infection, it significantly reduces your risk of severe symptoms and complications. Also, maintain good respiratory hygiene. This includes covering your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze and washing your hands frequently. These simple actions can help prevent the spread of germs and protect those around you, especially those who are more vulnerable to serious flu complications. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. It really helps us bring more helpful content to you, and we greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.